Good morning, everybody. Michelle is here on my favorite day of the week, Sunday. I've been up for a while. It's October the 6th, 2024, on a Sunday. Yeah. So, it's, um, you know, a little bit after noon here on the West Coast, baby, baby. Woo, been eating all day, of course, snacking on stuff. I love to do that, snacking on something, drinking something all day long. It has to for me because of the, you know, the... I'm kind of hyper a little bit sometimes. I feel like a, a, a young child sometimes. And, you know, I, I still, uh, I'm, I'm not saying I'm annoyed, but it's just people love to label you and, and, and try to d d figure out, you know, what's really going on with you. You know, you an individual. They always, a, a lot, there are some people just always attempting to figure out what's going on externally with other people. And being so concerned about why people do this and why people are doing that. And just kind of interfering with people in their development. I say if you spend 99% of your time on yourself and figuring out what's going on inside of you, you will develop compassion for people and empathy. Because you'll find out whatever you are having a problem with, with others, you're having a problem with usually yourself. Anytime someone is, is you know, big, and, and that goes for all of us, me in, included, um, I've, I, I always check myself and make sure, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Now, does that mean I agree with it? Do I, that, do, does that mean I accept it? No, it just means that I get it. I get it. And again, you know, we are all individuals. We're all unique, you know, in our own way and fashion and form. Thank goodness. Uh, there are so many of you out there. You know who you are. You get upset when people point this out to you. But you are so concerned about what's going on with other people and why other people are doing things. And, you know, it bothers you. You know, it, it really bothers you. Now, I told you, um, you know, I do everything in my power to, to, to help people if I can and if I want to. You know, there you know, there has to be there has to be something more than just um you know if I if I say I care about people, I, that I really do. But I also am aware that I can't help everybody and I won't. Okay. I have the few people in my life and they know who they are that I cherish and I will do anything for them. And that's just how it, that's just, that's natural. Now, to for me to go out and say I can help billions and billions and billions of people, no. And I know that's illogical and irrational and, I mean, you know, unreasonable. I mean, it's just crazy, actually. But I do know that I have a sphere, a sphere of like-mindedness. And we are going to be working together to help parts of humanity. That I know. So, but you're going to have all these forces against you, though. I told you about that, that criminal energy out there. That criminal energy is, uh, is uh, becoming very desperate. I, I, I'm sensing there's some desperation going on with, with this criminal energy. And it's because they want to save face. Uh, they know they're going to be exposed. They know they're going to collapse. So the chances are they're going to attempt to grab everything. They're going to take it all and, and attempt to run to parts unknown, right? I told you people are going to be moving around anyway. You know, some people are already living on the ground in bunkers. You know, some places already have, have hidden gold and silver and precious jewels and resources on the ground. Okay, and then they have their building on top of it where it's unsuspecting to people. There's this one particular place where I mean that whole ground, that whole those, that those, those acres of land and land and property and buildings and blah blah blah. I mean they've stored a lot of resources under those places. Like I said, gold and silver, blah 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 blah, cash, coin, whatever, anything that they feel as though it's materialistic, and they and they believe that it's gonna last for the future. That's where it's so illogical. A lot of that stuff is going to be 
nothing more, nothing less than monop monopoly money. You know, just paper money. You know, um, play play money, play resources, play whatever, whatever. So, just pay attention to what people are saying. They're attempting to confuse you for a reason. Pay attention to what people are doing. They're attempting to confuse you as you, you know, it's all about confusing you, distracting you, you know, having you develop certain type of behaviors and actions that do not support your inner core. You know, going around making fun of people, going around har harassing people, going around targeting, targeting people, going around stealing from people, going around lying, deceiving a lot of that is being exposed and it will be exposed. The wheat from the chaff has been in progress for a while. And a lot of you are attempting to catch up and a lot of you... And so so it's just weird. And a lot of people are picking it up and that's what I like about it. Okay, something doesn't add up. As they say, the math is not mathing. <laughs> I like when people say certain things that are kind of um, unorthodox like myself. I'm, I know I am. I know I'm different. And we all are different. But a lot of us just don't want to expose that. You know, kind of make themselves vulnerable so people can see who they really are because they don't want to let go of that ego. You know, these labelings and stuff like that. You know, I'm a genius. I'm artistic. I'm this. I'm that. Um, you know, cut it out. You know, clear stuff up that's that's uh, contradicting your life and making you miserable. Some of you are miserable. Some of you are lonely. And I told you lonely doesn't matter whether you're with somebody or not. You're just lonely. You, you, you have these burdens that you are carrying that you ought to release. You have no need to carry them. And these burdens are labels. It's how you're supposed to, you know, these labels, okay, Release some of that burden off of your, off of your shoulders and relax. Breathe, enjoy the moments, especially with each other. You know, think about love, think about intimacy, think about interpersonal relationships. You know, I do that all the time. You know, how to how is how you know how to continue to cultivate it. You know, contemplate it, bring it to fury. You know, bring it to. Um, you know, materialize it, you know, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So see if you can ignore all of this stuff going on. I know it's hard that's going on in the media, you know, how this is happening to these people. This is happening to those people. There's just a whole lot going on. And a lot of people are, you know, facing consequences and it's, it's extremely painful. I I, I I can sense and receive it, you know, because everything has started crashing down. As they say, the wall has come tumbling down. And it is. You know, these literal, it's a literal figuratively and metaphoric, of course, but it's all collapsing and crumbling down. You know, and more so in your innermost being because a lot of you have neglected that and, and, and thought you were so clever and so intelligent. I mean, I, it's comical, actually, if it weren't sad. I said the other day on one of the videos, I'm not sure where, when these cult lead, leaders and cult members and all of those dealing with that criminal energy, you know, kind of peek out and see what's really going on and what they've caused, a lot of them are so cowardly that they can't kill themselves. And I hate to say that, but the chances are they will. Or they'll put themselves in a position where somebody else takes them out. So pay attention. Be mindful. Be present. Be honest. Be kind and gentle. And just watch and observe. Do what you need to do. And not be so concerned about what other people are not doing. Okay? Have compassion. Have empathy for people. And for some of you, you cannot, that's something you cannot develop because you, you've you gone so, per, you know, perverse. I mean, you're so degenerate, deviant, you know, that that's out of your range. It's out of your range. And it's going to take a whole lot of work to get it done. 
but it could be done that's that's the opening so let me go ahead and start uh, finish up what I'm doing because I need to be taken off in a minute got things to do but at the same time you know I'm thinking about the people I love I'm thinking about universal love for everyone I, again I can I, I know a lot of people are suffering I know a lot of people are dealing with a lot of uh, tragedies catastrophes you know especially on the material level some of you are dealing with that with your health you know so there's a lot coming down for a lot of people a lot of things are falling down so just make sure you can hold up what you are building make sure your foundation is solid make sure you are clear and effective and then um, make sure you are walking the talk okay so peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains it is about universal love at the end of the day share it and trust me i will be back